distance in space are measured in KNUSD? Light years. That is correct for four points. 81A squared minus 4. Good shepherd. Open bracket 9A minus 2. Close bracket. Open bracket 9A plus 2. That is correct. And nutrients to and from my territory. I have OAS basic. Cell membrane. Cell membrane is correct for this Alphas. 80. 80 is correct for one Ideal Solomon Bennett student is someone who is an all-rounder. I mean, practically, intellectually, morally, physically. At first, uh, the study of science was true, poor, pass and forget. As a school, we thought it um, as very important to let our children have a practical experience with what they study. So as a school, we decided to introduce um, the science sets. As a parent, I experience what is being taught to my child in school, in the house, and I see my children telling me this is what brings the force to the machine that is carrying the load, and the rest, and I'm, I'm like, wow. If at uh, grade five and six, a child is able to have all this at the back of their mind and be hands-on, then the future is, is bright. Science Set has been the game changer for Solomon Bennett Memorial as a school. Light years. That is correct for four points. 81A squared minus 4. Good shepherd. Open bracket 9A minus 2. Close bracket. Open bracket 9A plus 2. That is correct. And nutrients to and from my territory. I have OAS basic. Cell membrane. Cell membrane is correct for Alphas. 80. 80 is correct for one Ideal Solomon Bennett student is someone who is an all-rounder. I mean, practically, intellectually, morally, physically. At first, uh, the study of science was true, poor, pass and forget. As a school, we thought it um, as very important to let our children have a practical experience with what they study. So as a school, we decided to introduce um, the science sets. As a parent, I experience what is being taught to my child in school, in the house, and I see my children telling me this 
Oh, it is what brings the force to the machine that is carrying the load and the rest. And I'm, I'm like, wow, if at uh, grade five and six, a child is able to have all this at the back of their mind and be hands-on, then the future is, is bright. Science set has been the game changer for Solomon Bennett Memorial as a school. Light years. That is correct for four points. 81A squared minus four. Good shepherd. Open bracket 9A minus two. Close bracket. Open bracket 9A plus two. That is correct. And nutrients to and from my territory. I have OAS basic. Cell membrane. Cell membrane is correct for Amphos. 80. 80 is correct for one. Ideal Solomon Bennett student is someone who is an all-rounder. I mean, practically, intellectually, morally, physically. At first, uh, the study of science was true, poor, pass and forget. As a school, we thought it um, as very important to let our children have a practical experience with what they study. So as a school, we decided to introduce um, the science sets. As a parent, I experience what is being taught to my child in school, in the house, and I see my children telling me this it is what brings the force to the machine that is carrying the load and the rest, and I'm, I'm like, wow. If at uh, grade five and six, a child is able to have all this at the back of their mind and be hands-on, then the future is, is bright. Science set has been the game changer for Solomon Bennett Memorial as a school. Light years. That is correct for four points. 81A squared minus four. Good shepherd. Open bracket 9A minus two. Close bracket. Open bracket 9A plus two. That is correct. And nutrients to and from my territory. I have OAS basic. Cell membrane. Cell membrane is correct for Amphos. 80. 80 is correct for one.
ideal Solomon Bennett student is someone who is an all-rounder. I mean, practically, intellectually, morally, physically. At first, uh, the study of science was true, poor, pass and forget. As a school, we thought it um, as very important to let our children have a practical experience with them. And I think if I should say it right in Dagbani, it's Dasba, right? So, Dasba. And welcome to the qualifiers for the 2023 Junior Science and Math Quiz. For today, we'll have the qualifiers for the qualifying round for the Northern Region. And we are having it at the IDL KNUSD Center in Tamale. So today we have three schools participating, but we want to thank our sponsors and partners, starting with the KNUSD Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, the College of Science, e-learning, and then IDEAL, who have been so magnanimous to host us. We also want to thank Eric Deck and then the Ghana Education Service, and then as well as Dex Technologies, who keep on supporting us. And so for us to proceed, we would go to the contestants to introduce themselves and then the schools they represent. So we begin with the first school on my left. My name is, my name is Shafa Atiumba Abderashid, and I'm from Danshed Junior High. My name is Nana Kweku Ade, and I'm from Danshed Junior High. Welcome. <laughs> My name is Gabriela Yaira Taylor from SOS in my minor school. My name is Alexander Foko Jr. from SOS. I'm Ayiga Felix from Canvler RC. My name is Mohamed Lukman, a student from Canvler RC School Complex. That's great. So welcome, and I hope this contest this morning is going to be heated enough to match up the sun which is rising over a cloudy day yesterday. So to begin with round one, contestants should take note of the following. This round consists of questions from biology, chemistry, physics, mathematics, and ICT. If a school should answer the question correct, you are awarded three points. No point will be awarded if it's invalid or if it's a wrong answer. It becomes available to the other two schools to compete for. So the other two schools will have to, would have to ring their buzzer, and then the first school to ring their buzzer would get opportunity to answer the bonus question. The bonus, for, the bonus point is going to be just one point. Schools have 15 seconds to answer questions which do not require calculations and 40 seconds to answer questions that require calculations. A school would have a maximum of two attempts for their main question and one attempt for the bonus. So it's either you use the 15 seconds to answer your question or you use your two attempts. Whichever one comes first, the question will be passed on as bonus if the question is, not, is answered incorrectly. Failure to press the buzzer before answering the question nullifies your answer. Thus, no point will be scored even if it is right. That means another school might be able to use your answer to, for themselves, and a point will be awarded in such situations. So I'd want to encourage all contestants to kindly take note of that. But before we proceed, we want to test our buzzers. Dan Shelley. That's worse. Canvilly. Thank you. So uh, participants or the audience will also notice that when a school presses the buzzer, the name shows on the screen. And for the contestants as well, there is a light button by you where when you press it and it is your turn, you realize that your light will flash up, you get it. So kindly take note of that. Apart from that, please do not turn off the switch or turn it on. You just only have to press it and just observe. I hope that is clear. All right. So are you ready? Then let's begin. 
preamble to all schools. What is the cross-section when the following objects are cut across a horizontal plane? Dan Shelley, round apple. The same circle. The same circle. No. Dan Shelley, please proceed. Canvilly. Present. No. SOS. A circle. A circle is correct. <laughs> SOS, your question. A die. A square. A square is correct. <laughs> Canvilly. A cylindrical barrel. Cylinder. A circle is correct. <laughs> Cylindrical barrel. A circle. That's correct. <laughs> okay, so Kamvili, I would give you another question. Using the same preamble, what would you get for a shape? What would you get for that? Can really, we'll come back to you on this question? Okay. Let's go to the second question. You, I owe you a question. I owe you a question. The second round of questions. Balance the following chemical equations. SOS. C, subscript 7. H, subscript 16. Plus O, Subscript 2 equal to C O subscript 2 plus H subscript 2 O. So it should be C7 H16 plus O2 is equal to C O2 plus H2O. Please proceed. C7 H16 plus 7 O subscript 2 maps to 7 C O subscript 2 plus 8 H subscript 2 O. Come again. C7 C7 H12 Sorry, C7816 plus 702 maps to 7CO2 plus, H, plus 8H2O. <laughs> 
No. C, C subscript 7, H subscript 16, plus 11, O subscript. Let me start again. C subscript You've 7. You've been bailed out, so. Sorry. Bonus. Kangli. 2C subscript 7, H16, plus O2, to give you 14CO subscript 2, plus 8H subscript 2O. H, 8H2 subscript, 8H subscript 2O. No. 2H subscript. Two? two C subscript mm -hmm. seven H sixteen H subscript sixteen plus five O subscript two max to fourteen C O subscript two plus H H H subscript two O No Kanvili, your major question. NACL plus AGNO3. So N, capital N, small A, CL plus capital A, small G, NO3. The three subscripts. Kanvili. Please, you said sodium N chloride plus silver nitrates. NaCl plus AgNO3. Go ahead. Sodium chloride. NaCl plus AgNO3. Continue. We'll give you sodium chloride. Same thing. NaCl plus AgNO3. No. That's worse. NaCl plus AgNO3 will give you NaNO3 plus AgCl. That is correct. <laughs> Dan Shelley. H2CO3 goes into HO plus CO. Now shall we continue? H2CO, H2CO3 maps to 2H plus CO3. 2H plus CO3. CO2. No. SOS. H2CO3 maps to 2HO plus CO. 2HO plus CO. CO. I won't give it to you. Yes, yeah, Kangali. H2CO3 uh -huh. maps to 2HO CO3. 2HO 3CO. No. Have you heard of a compound HO? 
What's H O? Plus. So, what I expected from you was water plus carbon dioxide, H2O plus CO2. The third set of questions. Convely, three quarters of a number added to two and a half of that number gives 19.5. Three quarters of a number added to two and a half of that number gives 19.5. Find the number. Yes, can't believe. 19.7 over 17. No. Bailed out bonus. SOS. Six. Six is correct. Dan Shelley, your question. One third of a number subtracted from seven times the number results in 32. One third of a number subtracted from seven times the number results in 32. What is the number? X is equal to 2. No. X is equal to 32 over 18. 32 over 18. 32 over 18. Can you simplify it? Thirty two over 18. No. SOS. X is 4.8. 4.8 is correct. <laughs> SOS, your major question. Three times the difference between a number and five is equal to one third of the number decreased by seven. Three times the difference between a number and five is equal to one third of the number decreased by seven. Determine the number. X is equal to 6.6. .6. No. X is equal to 3. That's correct. <laughs> we proceed with a fourth round of questions. Dan Shelley, name the type of endoplasmic reticulum responsible for lipid synthesis and detoxification processes. Rough endoplasmic reticulum. Reticulum. Come again. Rough endoplasmic reticulum. I'll give you two out of three. <laughs> the reason being I wanted the smooth. I wanted the smooth. So because you gave me the rough, I'll give you two out of three. Right. 
SOS. A single piece of core DNA is called a chromosome. Chromosome is correct. When it is your major question, you don't need to press the bell. It's okay. When it's your major question, you just proceed to answer. It's okay. All right. Canvilly, name two major organelles that are found that are not found. Name two major organelles that are not found in the mammalian red blood cell. Phagocytes and lymphocytes. No. <laughs> SOS. Chloroplast and cell SL wall. No. So what I expected from you was either the nucleus, mitochondria, endoplasmic reticulum, ribosomes, Golgi apparatus, vacuoles. Okay. All right. The fifth set of questions. SOS, your major question. You have 40 seconds. Calculate the force acting on an area of 51 dm squared if pressure developed by the force is 74.7417 pa. So calculate the force acting on an area of 51 dm squared if pressure developed by the force is 7,417 pascals pa. Go ahead. 37,826.7 newtons. Please come in. 37,826.7 newtons. 826.7 newtons. Take me through your process. Um, uh, so, um, the no, it's okay. So, I'll give you two out of three. I'll come back. Canvili, calculate the force acting on an area of 18 millimeters squared if pressure developed by the force is 787 pascal. Calculate the force acting on an area 18 millimeters squared if pressure developed by the force is 787 pascals. Bonus. So time is up. I'll come back to this question again. Dan Shelley, your question. A force exerts a pressure of 45 newtons per meter squared when it acts on an area of 10 meters squared. Calculate the total force. A force exerts a pressure of 45 newton per meter squared. When it acts on an area of 10 meters squared, calculate the total force.
450 Newton. 450 Newtons is correct. <laughs> so, SOS, why I didn't give you was. Now, we, I gave you dm squared, decimeter squared. So, I was expecting you to convert it to meter squared. And you didn't. And you still got Newton. Okay. The sixth round of questions. Kanvili, what does the function F5 do in a web browser running on Microsoft Windows 11? It refreshes it. Refresh. Refresh is correct. Dan Shelley, which keyboard key is used to toggle full screen on and off in a web browser in the Microsoft Windows 11 OS? F11. F11 is correct. <laughs> SOS. What does the F3 function key do in a web browser in Microsoft Windows 11? Mutes the web browser. No. <laughs> Bonus. <laughs> Dan Shelley. It's used to increase the volume. Used to increase the volume. No. So it's used to open opens a fine toolbar to search text on the current web page. Dan Shelley, your major question. Calculate the gravitational potential energy of a 100 kilogram object on top of a hill that is 50 meters high. Proceed. 5,000 joules. No. 50,000 joules. 50,000 joules. 50,000 joules. Correct, Dan Shelley. Please pay attention to me. As well as your major question. Calculate the kinetic energy of a car with a mass of 800 kilogram, traveling at a speed of 25 meters per second. Yes, proceed. 90,000 joules. No. 110,000 joules. No. Bonus. Dan Shelley. 100 joules. No. Calvary. 7,900 joules. Hey, where are you people getting your figures from? 200,000 joules. Kanveli, your major question. 
A diver jumps off a diving board with an initial velocity of 5 meters per second. If the mass of the diver is 60 kilograms, calculate the kinetic energy just before hitting the water. Please, the question again. A diver jumps off a diving board with an initial velocity of 5 meters per second. If the mass of the diver is 60 kilograms, calculate the kinetic energy just before hitting the water. Seven hundred and fifty joules. No. Seven thousand five hundred joules. No. Bonus. Dan Shelley. Three thousand joules. No, please. The answer is 375 joules, 375 joules. Now, the next set of questions will be based on the following preambles. They are statements, and you are to state whether they are true or false. These questions should not be passed on as bonus unless they are not answered. Once there is an attempt on answer, then they cannot be passed on as bonus. I hope that's OK you are not supposed to press your buzzer before answering unless it's passed on as a bonus. SOS, your question. The periodic table is arranged in order of decreasing atomic mass from right to left. True. True is correct. <laughs> Canvili. Noble gases found in the last column of the periodic table are highly reactive because they have a full set of valence electrons. False. False is correct. <laughs> Dan Shelley, transition metals are found in groups 3 to 12 of the periodic table and are characterized by their ability to form multiple stable oxidation states. True is correct. <laughs> Canvili, mitotic division in bacterial cells is also known as reduction division. True. Out pass on. True. It was your major question. You said Calvary. Yes, so correct. Mm -hmm. It's false. Mm -hmm. Dan Shelley. German measles is caused by a virus. False. It's true. SOS. Veins have thinner walls and less muscle compared to the arteries. True. True is correct. <laughs> Dan Shelley, a hard disk drive stores digitally encoded data on rapidly rotating, rotating rigid platters with magnetic surfaces. True. True is correct. <laughs> SOS. It is not possible to link data between multiple cells or worksheets in a spreadsheet application. False. False in this time is correct. <laughs> Canvili, a flash drive is a portable, non-removable, and rewritable storage device. False. False is correct. <laughs> and with this, we come to the end of round one. Shall we clap for our contestants?
light years. That is correct for four points. 81A squared minus 4. Good shepherd. Open bracket 9A minus 2. Close bracket. Open bracket 9A plus 2. That is correct. And nutrients to and from my territory. I have OAS basic. Cell membrane. Cell membrane is correct for the Alphos. 80. 80 is correct for one Ideal Solomon Bennett student is someone who is an all-rounder. I mean, practically, intellectually, morally, physically. At first, uh, the study of science was true, poor, pass and forget. As a school, we thought it um, as very important to let our children have a practical experience with what they study. So as a school, we decided to introduce um, the science sets. As a parent, I experience what is being taught to my child in school, in the house, and I see my children telling me this it is what brings the force to the machine that is carrying the load and the rest, and I'm, I'm like, wow. If at uh, grade five and six, a child is able to have all this at the back of their mind and be hands-on, then the future is, is bright. Science Set has been the game changer for Solomon Bennett Memorial as a school. Kamvili, I owe you a question. So I'll give you the question, and after that, we'll give the scores. So the same preamble, what is the cross-section when the following objects are cut across a horizontal plane? Yours is a square pyramid. Go ahead. Square. Square is correct. <laughs> so on that note, would proceed with the results for the round. At the end of round one, at the end of round one, Dan Shelley had 17 points. <laughs> SOS Herman Minor has 25 points. And Canvili RCJHS has 12 points. We would proceed with the next round. And this round is the favorite of the participants or the audience. Because at this point, you begin to compete against each other in what we call the fastest finger. In this round, one question will be read out, and contestants, you will be expected to compete to be the first to answer. Each, query, each question carries a score of four points. When a contestant is ready to respond, they should press the buzzer before they attempt to answer. If you press the buzzer and you don't answer, it is considered, considered as an attempt, and a point will be deducted. Since there is a penalty of one point when a wrong answer is given. Answering before pressing the buzzer would disqualify the school from the question. After the buzzer is pressed, contestants must give their answers in three seconds. I hope the rules are clear. So to proceed, we'll test our buzzers. 
Dan Shelly. SOS. Canvili. Okay. So we'll now proceed with the first question of this round. Timer. Can we get the timer? So that we also know the timer. The timer sound. Okay. Thank you very much. So the first question of this round. What term is used for a single page in an Excel workbook? Dan Shelley. Worksheet. Worksheet is correct. The next question. Which part of the human eye contains cells called cones? SOS. Retina. The retina. The retina is correct. <laughs> Which hormone is responsible for the fight or flight? SOS. Um, adrenaline. Adrenaline is correct. <laughs> the tendency of objects to resist changes Canvili. Inertia. Inertia is correct. <laughs> the property of materials which makes them to be easily drawn Dan Shelley. Malleability. No, Canvili. Ductility. Ductility. That is correct. <laughs> okay, so let's continue. How many atoms are present in CaCl2? SOS. Five. No. Canvili. Four. No. Three. Three, Dan Shelley is correct. You only have one attempt, only one attempt. So once one person speaks, that ends it. Let's continue. A ball is thrown vertically upward with an initial velocity of 20 meters per second. Calculate the time it takes for the ball to reach its highest point. SOS. Two seconds. Two seconds is correct. Dan Shelley, no. <laughs> okay, so you continue. In the quadrilateral, A, B, C, D, angle A is 90 degrees. Angle B is 2X. Angle C is 3X. And angle D is 4X. Which of the three angles is equal to angle A? Angle C. Angle C is correct. <laughs> and with this, we come to the end of the fastest finger round. back the contest is getting hotter and hotter and I'm enjoying it so at the end of round two Dan Shelley has 24 points SOS 36 points 
and Kamvili has 23 points. The contest is not over. So, before we proceed with the next round, Dan Shelley has a substitution and they will replace Abdul Rashid Shafat with Abdul Rahman. Shafat, thank you very much. And we'll welcome Abdul Rahman. Abdul Rahman, you are welcome. Okay, so we'll then proceed with the next round, which is the Dex Science and Technology Challenge. So in and the question in this round will require contestants to perform a tax that will be assessed. The score for this round is 15 points. Contestant, the score for this round is 15 points. And contestants will be given up to 15 minutes to complete the task. Round three is sponsored by Dex Science Sets. And at the right time, we'll give you the, we'll give you the sets and then you proceed. I wish you all the best in this round. Ideal Solomon Bennett student is someone who is an all-rounder. I mean, practically, intellectually, morally, physically. At first, uh, the study of science was true, poor, pass and forget. As a school, we thought it um, as very important to let our children have a practical experience with what they study. So as a school, we decided to introduce um, the science sets. As a parent, I experience what is being taught to my child in school, in the house, and I see my children telling me this is what brings the force to the machine that is carrying the load and the rest, and I'm, I'm like, wow. If at uh, grade five and six, a child is able to have all this at the back of their mind and be hands-on, then the future is, is bright. Science set has been the game changer for Solomon Bennett Memorial as a school. Ideal Solomon Bennett student is someone who is an all-rounder. I mean, practically, intellectually, morally, physically. At first, uh, the study of science was true, poor, pass and forget. 
as a school we thought it's um as very important to let our children have a practical experience with what they study so as a school we decided to introduce um, the science sets as a parent i experience what is being taught to my child in school in the house and i see my children telling me this it is what brings the fall. Welcome back. Welcome back. So, contestants, in front of you have been placed items and one is labeled M, a bottle of water labeled B, a plastic bowl labeled P, a piece of paper, a piece of paper and a paper clip. Kindly be sure you have those items. Now, your tasks are the following. One, you would pour the water in the bottle into the bowl to have the capacity of the bowl. You would then wrap the magnet along the paper clip provided several times in one direction. Place the paper clip on a small piece of paper and gently float the paper clip and the sheet of paper in the water. Observe how it aligns itself north-south due to the Earth's magnetic field. And then your related questions will be after observing the paper clip aligning north-south, can you explain why it behaves this way? The second is, what do you think happens if you reverse the direction in which you wrap the magnet along the paper clip? And the third question, apart from using a paper clip, can you think of other everyday objects that might align themselves with a the magnet in the same way. You would have 15 minutes to complete this task, and your time starts now.
college in KNUSD? Light years. That is correct for four points. 81A squared minus 4. Good shepherd. Open bracket 9A minus 2. Close bracket. Open bracket 9A plus 2. That is correct. And nutrients to and from my territory. I have OWAS basic. Cell membrane. Cell membrane is correct for the cells. Ampos. 80. 80 is correct for one Ideal Solomon Bennett student is someone who is an all-rounder. I mean, practically, intellectually, morally, physically. At first, uh, the study of science was true, poor, pass and forget. As a school, we thought it um, as very important to let our children have a practical experience with what they study. So as a school, we decided to introduce um, the science sets. As a parent, I experience what is being taught to my child in school, in the house, and I see my children telling me this is what brings the force to the machine that is carrying the load and the rest, and I'm, I'm like, Wow, if at uh, grade five and six, a child is able to have all this at the back of their mind and be hands-on, then the future is, is bright. Science sets have been the game changer for Solomon Bennett Memorial as a school. Your names are written on your school's names are written on them.
are measured in KNUSD? Light years. That is correct for four points. 81A squared minus 4. Good shepherd. Open bracket 9A minus 2. Close bracket. Open bracket 9A plus 2. That is correct. And nutrients to and from my territory. I have OAS basic. Cell membrane. Cell membrane is correct for this Alphos. 80. 80 is correct for one Ideal Solomon Bennett student is someone who is an all-rounder. I mean, practically, intellectually, morally, physically. At first, uh, the study of science was true, poor, pass and forget. As a school, we thought it um, as very important to let our children have a practical experience with what they study. So as a school, we decided to introduce um, the science sets. As a parent, I experience what is being taught to my child in school, in the house, and I see my children telling me this is what brings the force to the machine that is carrying the load, and the rest, and I'm, I'm like, wow. If at uh, grade five and six, a child is able to have all this at the back of their mind and be hands-on, then the future is, is bright. Science Set has been the game changer for Solomon Bennett Memorial as a school. Light years. That is correct for four points. 81A squared minus 4. Good shepherd. Open bracket 9A minus 2. Close bracket. Open bracket 9A plus 2. That is correct. And nutrients to and from my territory. I have OAS basic. Cell membrane. Cell membrane is correct for Alphos. 80. 80 is correct for one Ideal Solomon Bennett student is someone who is an all-rounder. I mean, practically, intellectually, morally, physically. At first, uh, the study of science was true, poor, pass and forget. As a school, we thought it um, as very important to let our children have a practical experience with what they study. So as a school, we decided to introduce um, the science sets. As a parent, I experience what is being taught to my child in school, in the house, and I see my children telling me this is what brings the force to the machine 
that is carrying the load and the rest and I'm, I'm like wow if at uh, grade five and six a child is able to have all this at the back of their mind and be hands-on then the future is is bright science set has been the game changer for Solomon Bennett Memorial as a school. Light years. That is correct for four points. 81A squared minus 4. Good shepherd. Open bracket 9A minus 2. Close bracket. Open bracket 9A plus 2. That is correct. And new trends to and from my territory. I have OWAS basic. Cell membrane. Cell membrane is correct for the Amphos. 80. 80 is correct for one. Ideal Solomon Bennett student is someone who is an all-rounder. I mean, practically, intellectually, morally, physically. At first, uh, the study of science was true, poor, pass and forget. As a school, we thought it um, as very important to let our children have a practical experience with what they study. So at the school, we decided to introduce um, the science sets. As a parent, I experience what is being taught to my child in school, in the house, and I see my children telling me this is what brings the force to the machine that is carrying the load and the rest, and I'm, I'm like, wow. If at uh, grade five and six, a child is able to have all this at the back of their mind and be hands-on, then the future is, is bright. Science Set has been the game changer for Solomon Bennett Memorial as a school. So welcome back. It's been an interesting part. And I'm very impressed. It shows that you are enjoying science courses in your various schools. So I'll just take you through the solution or what I expected from you. And then I'll tell you what you did wrong and what you did right. So what I expected you to do was, your task was to first pour the water, in the, uh, the water in the bottle into the bowl to have capacity. So that would have measured your ability to be able to gauge. So even if you have a, con a container where there's, it's not calibrated, you should be able to gauge what is half capacity. And that would be well as what we're looking at it. Then you should rub the magnet along the paper clip provided several times in one direction. Okay. 
then place a paper clip on a small piece of paper. And in doing this, you need a lot of, it needed a lot of tact. You needed to be very careful. And these are key for a scientist because you cannot just be pouring chemicals anyhow. You need to be very careful and then tact. So in placing the paper clip on the piece of paper to avoid the paper sinking. So you need it because if it gets totally wet, that means it would sink. So make sure that you are, uh, in terms of the law of flotation, making sure that the paper would float. Okay. Then you'd place the paper clip on top of it, on the sheet of paper which you had put on the surface of the water. Then you observe how it aligns itself north-south due to the Earth's magnetic field. As young scientists, you should be aware of your environment at every point in time, so you should be able to tell me where the north is, okay, where the, cardinal, uh, the point north is at every point in time. So uh, that was some of the things we were watching out for. Then after that, you are supposed to answer the following task, uh, the following questions. After observing the paper clip aligning north-south, can you explain why it behaves this way? And then what do you think happens if you reverse the direction in which you rub the magnet along the paper? Then the third one was, apart from the paper clip, can you think of any other everyday objects that might align themselves with, with a magnet in the same way? Now, for the first question, what I expected you to tell me was, one, it becomes a temporary magnet. So in rubbing the magnet, uh, uh, the, uh, the paper clip, the okay, with the magnet, you will convert it into a temporary magnet. The okay. That was one key thing I was expecting. Then you tell me that it would then align itself along the magnetic field because now the, art, the electrons in the paper clip are now aligning themselves in the magnetic field, along the magnetic field lines of the Earth. Okay, so that was something I was expecting from you. So these were key things I was expecting. And then in the second one, if you reverse the direction in which you rub the magnet along the paper clip, it will still align north-south. But in this case, the end that previously aligned north would now face south. And the end that aligned south would now face north. So in this case, too, that means that you should have also taken note of what you wanted to do. So to make sure that if this point was north, then in this case, would convert it in such a way this side as well, south. Okay. Then we're asking about everyday objects. Everyday objects, nails, screws, coins, any household items, which some of you mentioned, and those were good. And that was what I was expecting from you. I hope that's okay. So for Canville, of all the other points, I'll give you the full marks for the completion of the tax because the fifth one, observing how it aligns north-south due to the X-magnetic field. I saw you were trying to stir the pin with the magnet. That wasn't what we asked you to do. You are supposed to observe. So in that case, you'd have placed the magnet aside and then see how the pin would have, uh, the, the point it would have directed. But unfortunately, you didn't do that. So I wouldn't give you that. So I gave you four out of five for that. Then in the related tax, your first question actually didn't, I didn't get any of the answers. You didn't answer it. Uh, you didn't meet me anywhere. So I didn't give you any point for that. In the second one, I gave you one point because I'm trying to think like how you are thinking. Okay, so I gave you one point for that. And then in the last question, I gave you three points. So in total, you get eight out of 15. Eight out of 15. <laughs> SOS. You were also given four out of five because you are also trying to stay the... No, I'm looking at what I observed you from. Okay, all right. So for what you are doing, you are trying to also use the magnet to stay. Yes, I saw that very well. Okay, all right. 
And that wasn't expected of you. What we expected you to do was to leave the magnet after rubbing it. The magnet has no place again. So, okay. So even if you had left it by there, there was a possibility you could have even influenced your results. Could have influenced your results. So you place it somewhere where the magnetic field of the magnet won't have any effect on that. Because you're supposed to observe where the pin will turn towards. So, okay. So you got four points out of five. Then in explanation, you did very well. You mentioned temporary magnet. You talked about uh, the alignment. So you get four points out of four for that. And then in the second question, you get three points. The last question, you get three points. So your total, 14 points out of 15. <laughs> Dan Shelley. For you, I'd give you five out of five for the first one. Because after you left it, afterwards you left the pin to rest and then looked at the direction in which it was pointing. Then in terms of your first question, you didn't mention the temporary magnet. And that was a key thing I was looking for because the question was explain why it behaves this way. So it was because under normal circumstances, the pin wouldn't turn, uh, wouldn't align itself towards the magnetic north because it's not a temporary magnet. So, okay, so I gave you three out of that. In the second question as well, uh, your answer wasn't very clear. Your answer wasn't very clear. So as usual, I was trying to think like you. So I gave you two points out of that. And then in the third question, you get three points. So in total, you get 13 out of 15. So one key thing I like about science is a lot of the times, scientists have made discoveries out of mistakes. And that was what some of you were doing. <laughs> You're making discoveries out of mistakes. Is that okay? So it's quite good, and I'm enjoying the process. And I hope that you are also picking uh, you are learning also from it, as well as the, those, the audience. Now, at the end of the round, Dan Shelley has 37 points. <laughs> SOS has 50 points. <laughs> Canvili has 31 points. <laughs> and with this, we'll just proceed to the last and final round which we call the decoding the clues. In this round, I am taking you to be very good investigators, or uh, scientists, who would have to unravel some of the codes or using clues to come out with some of the scientific innovations we need in our world. In this round, I read out statements which will be given out a series of clues. And if the question is answered on the first clue, you get six points. If it's answered on the second clue, you get five points. On the third clue, four points. On the fourth or any other after, you get three points. Contestants are to press the buzzer before attempting to answer the question. Failure to press the buzzer before answering disqualifies you from that question and nullifies your answer even if it's correct. When you are called, you have three, point, you have three seconds to answer. i would use my fingers to assist all of us so that we know the clue on which we are on. I hope that is clear. All right. So let's test our buzzers. Canvili. As words. So let, let me try again. Canvili, hold on. Canvili. SOS. Dan Shelley. Okay. So I hope that's clear for us. All right. Thank you very much for the time one, two. Now, let's begin with the first set of clues. I am an odd number. 
I make a palindrome. My digits are just two consecutive integers. My digits are simply binomial coefficients. Kanvili, 121. 121 is correct. And this was answered on the fourth clue. On the fourth clue, so three points. The second set. I am a scientist. A Polish, but naturalized French physicist and chemist. I am the first to win Nobel Prize twice. Dan Shelley. Mary Curie. Mary Curie. Marie Curie is correct. On the third clue. The third set. I am a special feature in Microsoft Word. I can be customized to ignore certain mistakes or taught new vocabulary. SOS. Spelling and grammar check. Spelling and grammar check. That's correct. <laughs> On the second clue. And the last set for this round. And for this competition of the qualifiers, for those who will be going to Kumasi, I am found everywhere two lines meet. SOS. Angle. Angle is very correct. And with that, we come to the end of the competition as well as this round. Shall we clap for them? The competition as well as this round. Shall we clap for them? Ideal Solomon Bennett student is someone who is an all-rounder. And... Welcome back. Welcome back. It's been an interesting competition and I'm very proud of you. You've all done very well. Abdul Rahman Fadilan, Adai Nanakweku, Gabriela Yaira, Taylor, Alexander Foku Jr. Aiga Felix and then Mohammed Luke Man Luke Man.
You've done very well, and you should be proud of yourselves. You have given this competition the heat it needs for the start of this morning. So, for at the end of the contest and then at the end of the round, Dan Shelley, or let me start with Canville, RC School Complex, had 34 points. Dan Shelley had 41 points. <laughs> SOS, last year you met Dan Shelley. You didn't meet them. Oh, this is your first time. Okay, you didn't meet. Can't believe you met Dan Shelley. You didn't meet Dan Shelley. Oh, okay. So SOS had 61 points <laughs> to win this contest. Congratulations to all of you, SOS and Kamvili and then Dan Shelley. We are very proud of what you have done. And at this moment, I would hand you over to Professor Perko. Ideal Solomon Bennett student is someone who is an all-rounder. I mean, practically, intellectually, morally, physically. At first, uh, the study of science was true, poor, pass and forget. As a school, we thought it um, as very important to let our children have a practical experience with what they study. So as a school, we decided to introduce um, the science sets. As a parent, I experience what is being taught to my child in school, in the house, and I see my children telling me this it is what brings the force to the machine that is carrying the load and the rest, and I'm, I'm like, Wow, if at uh, grade five and six, a child is able to have all this at the back of their mind and be hands-on, then the future is, is bright. Science set has been the game changer for Solomon Bennett Memorial as a school.